You might be wondering or asking yourself why a course on modern electronics is covering valves, or as they're called in the USA, electron tubes. After all, they have many disadvantages compared with semiconductors. For example, they are large, they are delicate, especially if they're made of glass, they have filaments which burn out and the valve itself can also degrade over time. Because they have filaments, they get hot and they require large voltages to work with. However, I would say there are several different reasons to learn about them. First of all, they're very important from a historical point of view. They are also, also still used in some specialized professional applications, for example, in high-powered radio and microwave circuits. And in some of these applications, they have distinct advantages over semiconductors. High fidelity buffs and electric guitarists also enjoy the audio quality that they produce because they tend to distort sound in a very musically pleasing way. And quite apart from all this, they are simply fun to use. Firstly, because they look pleasant and have a warm glow about them during their operation. They also generate a sense of nostalgia and history. You can actually see the path that the electrons take through the valve and the electrodes which control them. So they're much more relatable and physical than semiconductors are. They're easy to solder and wire, particularly for older people doing electronics as a hobby. And quite apart from all this, they're essentially a linear particle accelerator on your desk. So they bring to you the innermost workings of nature right into your house. So how much fun is that? Of course, if you are actually using valves as an amateur, then you need to ensure that you always follow the safe working practices for high voltages, because that is a one large disadvantage which can also be dangerous. We have already done some study on valves in the previous videos, so before embarking on the next few, I would recommend that you have a look at these. Video 41 on diode valves, video 60 on triode valves, and video 59 on three terminal devices and a comparison between them and transistors.